In this week in military history, we explore the Soviet Union's launch of Sputnik 1 on October 4, 1957, and the start of the space age. The Cold War began shortly after the end of World War II and was an era of geopolitical tension and intense competition between the United States, the Soviet Union, and their respective allies. Post-war advancements in Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM, design created a curiosity and competition to improve rocket range and accuracy. This spirit led the U.S. to a 1955 announcement of their intention to launch the first artificial satellite into space. Not to be outdone, the Soviets declared similar intentions four days later. On October 4, 1957, the Soviets successfully launched Sputnik 1, a nearly 200-pound pressurized sphere about the size of a basketball. Equipped with a radio transmitter, Sputnik, which literally translates to fellow traveler, was launched via a rocket and circled the Earth for roughly three months, traveling over 40 million miles before falling out of orbit. The satellite could be seen from U.S. soil during certain times of the day. The steady, beeping signals transmitted by the satellite were recorded and broadcast on mainstream radio. The launch was purposely scheduled to occur during the International Geophysical Year, a period of maximum solar activity which lent itself to optimal study of the solar system and other Earth sciences. The objectives behind the launch of the satellite were reportedly scientific in nature. However, Americans were wary of Soviet intentions, fearful that this new technology would be used to launch nuclear weapons toward the U.S. Soon thereafter, President Dwight D. Eisenhower created the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. But by that time, Sputnik 2 had launched, this time with a dog on board. The U.S. finally launched their first satellite, Explorer, on January 31, 1958, about four months after Sputnik 1. Over time, these events led to new developments in technology, science, and the military. Today, the resulting multinational collaborative efforts are evident on the International Space Station. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.